Okay, um, welcome back to When You Get Out of Jail. This is part three. Number six would be to rise above the haters. Um, people will enjoy reminding you of how you used to be. Um, I know we're all familiar with that. You know, so, oh, I remember when you used to hang out with someone, so I remember you used to be on this corner or that corner, or I you know, remember you used to steal, or I remember we used to talk to all the girls, or I remember when you used to, you know, sleep around, or whatever the case is. People love to remind you, take jabs, you know, in between your ribs about how you used to be, but um, rise above that. Many times, um, talking down on others makes miserable people feel better about themselves. So, really, it's like, okay, I feel bad for you that you have to spend your time thinking and speaking negative things about me. Um, you must really be bored and miserable. Um, so many times they're just doing it to feel better about their own situation. You are not the person you were yesterday, unless you choose to be. Every day gives us the opportunity, every moment, every second, every breath gives us the opportunity to be the person that we want to be, you know, to become more and more our higher selves. Um, so we have to learn to rise above the opinions of others because they're not actually our problem. Their opinions are just their problem unless we internalize them. Let them talk, you know, don't get mad and always use that as, as fuel. You know, let it fuel your motivation to become better and better. And um, I promise you, especially once your music release, that right there, just that idea of rising above the haters will put you in so much of a better position mentally and spiritually. Um, your physical can't do anything but follow that. It's really, really powerful. It may seem cliche, but literally just do it and you'll see the whole world change. Um, another more serious one, um, not serious, but another more um, tangible one would be to explore entrepreneurship. Um, even while you're working for someone else right now, you know, to make ends meet, you may be working with some family members or with some friends or, you know, you may be, be a part of even a work release program or, um, or just trying to find a job or, you know, working at your old job, whatever the case may be, even while you're working for someone else. Um, it's good to have a long-term later goal of business owning. Um, why would anyone not want their family to have a business of their own so they can pass down something tangible to their children? Um, it's my goal in my life to make sure that my children are good for the next, you know, seven generations. So my progeny has something that um, to build on from what I left them. I would say that right now, you know, I'm, I'm reaping the benefits of three generations of amazing women, and um, and I see that, and I notice that, and um, that allows me to have um, the reverence for my elders, as I discussed in the previous video, but um, definitely look into business owners so that you can ownership so that you can hand something to your children. Um, a business can look like an adult daycare, which is a booming business right now, goes hand in hand elders as I discussed before, um, a law firm, a recording studio, a spa, an online store. If you don't have money to start a store, buy inventory. Like I told you in the last video, drop shipping is a non-traditional form of um, business owning. Um, a photography company or a videography company. Um, tutoring. You can have a tutoring business after school. Young people, you know, you could do babysitting or tutoring. Um, really get to Kendezi. K-I-N-D-E-Z-I, -I, I believe, Kendezi. Um, it's an African um, form of babysitting where it allows the children and young people to learn how to become more productive parents, um, better parents, and raise better children. And it, um, it's a generational thing. And so it's um, young people starting early and learning how to take responsibility and be responsible and loving parents. Um, a farm, you know, um, whether you're in an urban area or in the suburbs, wherever you may be, um, a rural area even better. Farming is a is a is an amazing way. Um, a lot of times, I think that um, jobs like farming are given a bad rap, but farms are a farmer is like one of the most important jobs on the planet. The ability to grow food, the ability to manifest the substance which will nurture your family. To farm is probably one of the most important jobs on the planet. Um, it's, it's, it's a whole life path. You know, it's dedication. It's dedication to nature. And that's right living. So, um, a farm, you know, maybe even a YouTube channel, you know, you can figure out a way to make that sustainable. These are all ways to have, to have, um, to start businesses for yourself and for your family. Striving to provide the best for your loved ones does not make us money hungry. I know sometimes I get guilty about being like, oh, I don't, you know, I like to think that, you know, struggling all the time is, is, is what um, keeps you humble, but really, you know, understanding struggle, living through struggle, 
as there's progress, you know, we don't want to have our children in, in, in perpetual struggle. You know, we want, don't want to pass down legacies of poverty and death. That's not the idea. The idea is to evolve and um, show a better way of life and uh, allow our trauma and our struggles to be fuel and to be motivation and give us that strong reason why we can take over the world. So um, we should be all be building together. I would like to go back to that. We should all be building together. So um, this is a short video. I'm grateful to be here with you. Thank